This is the life story of a phenomenal man called Movado aka the Gully God. This documentary shows the rise of Movado and how he became one of Jamaica's biggest most popular artist. If you are a Gully hater, don't spread your hate on this video just because it's Movado. Just sit back and enjoy the video, and if you really hate him that much, because he stole your girlfriend or some other ridiculous shit, just suck it up and appreciate the music. This video contains scenes and clippings of the artiste to enhance the storytelling. No fiction was told in this video, and you probably don't like the voiceover, well sorry about that. At least it's better than reading, right? The Rise of Movado the Gully God Movado was born and raised in Cassava Peace, Kingston, Jamaica. As any other ghetto youth in Jamaica, Movado strived for the best during his struggle. He found his first talent as a barber, working in a barber shop for years, providing for his family and baby mother. But barbering wasn't the only talent Movado had, as he was pursuing his music career. David Constantine Brooks, also known as Singing Blacks was born on November 30, 1981. David Constantine Brooks was raised in Kingston, Jamaica's cassava peace community. His grandmother gave him his first musical experience at a young age, bringing him to church to sing. He cites the music of Bounty Killer as an early influence. The boyhood idol became his mentor when at the age of 15, Bounty took him under his wing to show him the ropes of the music industry and introduced him to his manager, dance hall music business legend Julian Jones Griffith, who would go on to manage Movado's illustrious career. He decided to name himself Movado after the Swiss watch company Movado. His debut single, Real McCoy on the Anger Management Rhythm in 2004, provided him instant success. He he further established himself with the follow-up record with Demadu, on the Red Bull and Guinness Rhythm, that had the distinction of hitting Billboard. on VP Records. Wedem Adu and Dying, two singles from the album, were featured heavily on R&B slash hip hop radio in the US and around the world. Movado respected Bounty Killer aka Ground God and so he found his name and belief in what he will fight for, known as the Gully, hence the name, Gully God. Not long after, people started hearing the Gully God's name and singing his catchy tunes. Even the babies were singing my song, Movado said. Gangsta for life. <laughs> Real it wasn't late after. Movado got signed to Alliance, alongside other new artists, such as, Busy Signal, Idonia and others. The defender of the gully, represented his hometown with passion. 
Coming from nothing to something really changed the life of Movado and his dreams. Living the life now, he quotes this is like a dream. See I was dreaming that I'm floating on a thousand dollar bed And if I touch my paper and crush my dream up Then you're done to get me Soon after, a feud started with Movado and popular artiste Also in the alliance, Vibes Cartel stirred After Vibes Cartel left the alliance and went off on his own The two sent numerous diss songs towards each other Starting a war in Jamaica called the Gully and Gaza War some boy no know about bad man thing, them a just sang writer But long before me sing, me sang, me was a sniper Me bullet bite out the head, call it the viper Because them snitch and them go bitch, that's what they die for The Gully and Gaza War, though caused some lives to be lost, and many injured It escalated Movado and Vibes Cartel's career and made them the two biggest DJs in Jamaica at that time And also made the headline news the government is defending its decision to intervene in the dancehall rivalry between DJs Movado and Vibes Cartel, whose open contempt for each other has divided their fans in what is known as a Gaza-Gully conflict. The feud between the Gully and Gaza did not stop, for years. When getting out of control, the two were called to the Jamaica House, where the government has to take it up into hand to stop the lyrical feud, leading to influential murder by listeners. You might have doubted the necessity of four government ministers meeting with the two DJs. Daryl Vaz wanted to make this clear. The government thought it very important to have this meeting this morning based on the fact and the impact on the four ministries that were represented there this morning being national security, culture, education and information, the impact that this impasse has been having as it relates to these ministries. Five-point initiative is to be undertaken to stem the warring gully Gaza feud. Measures agreed on at a meeting at Jamaica House involving the artist at the heart of the conflict, Vibes Cartel and Mavado, as well as four government ministers. The measures include a peace concert involving both artists, a painting exercise to remove graffiti, the wearing of t-shirts with portraits of both artists, joint songs by the artists making appeals to their supporters, and a treat with both artists present. Now the ministers present at the meeting were Education Minister Andrew Holness, Information Minister Daryl Vaz, National Security Minister Dwight Nelson, as well as other government officials. The dance hall artists Mavado and Vibes Cartel have made it clear they are not enemies and it's just about the music. Christopher Judas Koch, one of Jamaica's strong men called the two to an event called Champions in Action to help spread the peace. But that peace only lasted for a while. Peace was not on the menu for these two, as Movado continued pushing out hits and diss, which led up to 2008 Sting in Portmore, where the two settled their differences in a lyrical clash on stage.
Thousands of patrons gathered for the big event, both Gaza and Gully fans to cheer on their artiste. Movado was praised, to stand up to a lyrical genius like Vibes Cartel and so his name and talent, grew exponentially larger. After Sting Clash in 2008, Movado released even more hits like Dem Alone, Hope and Pray and many more. Movado even touched the Billboard charts with his huge hit I'm So Special. A few months have passed, peace has become present. That same year brought Movado off stage controversy, as he was unlawfully detained by Jamaican police. While in police custody, the singer claims he was thrown through a glass window, slicing three fingers in the process, which were sewn up at a local hospital. Police claimed Movado escaped from custody, even though they let him walk out of the police station and go to the hospital with his manager. He was later arrested and charged with shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm in relation to an event occurring July 27, 2007. He was later freed of all charges. I sit down, I talk to an elderly police. So I must say, what's going on? I must say, boy, I'm just there, down at my place. Police run in, start leading me away. So I must say, for what? I must say, I know. I'm here, so I want to up here. Because them say, them claim to me, step back and lick my name face. Yeah? When I'm there, now, a police would say to me, say, you want me? I take a statement from you. Come on, come on, I say. So I get up now. When I get up now, him friend come to me. And I say, oh, you see you, I got bring you down in I got bring you down in And I point on my face. So I say, yo, what can I bring down here? I say, it's a, it, 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 a bad mind thing. Yeah? You must say, oh, hey boy, I got bring you down in I got bring you down in Anyway, I get up, I walk past him, go around in a little passage. Yeah? I'm going to go around in, in, in the passage and I'm going to stand up and wait for the next youth to come pull the door now. The man goes up and run down for me again. We am search him, but I'm going to hurt me again. Yeah? So I'm going to hold on him. You see me? So I say, yo, where are you? See him? He goes up and let me go. Yeah? So I step back. Yeah? And stand up and the, the next police youth said to him, say, yo, load the youth now, man. See him? Why the man is that? The man fling him on and I'm going to you want me on my throat now? Yeah? So in front I say, yo, where are you? Anyway, you know, you hold me on my throat and hold him back. See? He goes up and let me go. When he let me go now, I go so. And turn on now for walk off. 
By the time I walk up, the man just hold me and go so boom! In a glass window, big glass window. When we look up in the window now, I so, as, as, stay, so. the window broke. So when we realize that the window broke now and I don't lose my balance now, so I go drop from the glass and I just put my hand there. When I put my hand there now, I go so and raise up back. When I raise up back now, I go so and look the whole of my finger them up now. My father had to get multiple stitches. The Right now, this is the best way for me to deal with the situation. You understand? Because if you try to kill me and kill my friend, you understand? I know you feel like some boy. I'm not going to go and hide and afraid. I'm not afraid. You understand? I'm not afraid. All you can do is kill me. When you see me in the road, that's all. See? I'm not afraid. And I'm not make my friend just dead. And in that I come right now, in that I was seven, eight years old. Nevado was given the prestigious UK Mobo Award for Best Reggae Act. In the win is Mavado. <laughs> Everybody that loves Mavado just say anyway. Bless up, thank you. In March 2008. Movado was featured performing a rendition of his song Real McCoy for Grand Theft Auto 4 trailer number 4 Everyone's a Rat. Real McCoy, along with Last Night, both from the album Gangsta for Life, were also featured in the game on the radio station Massive B Radio. It was not long after the two declared war again, and got called up by the government again, to the Jamaica House to resolve the issue and call for peace, again. I, anyway, I, anyway, I, youngster for life, I, top shot and no miss, them send me a rice grind, make people eat fish and bread and have a nice time, but Amazing grace, shall fly to face The boy, them a chase, shoot up them best Pass the case, them in case, them try to escape None can escape, when me gun blade My war is like no other When me done, them have no sister, no brother Should I hear the boy scream and say, oh mama In April 2010 Movado starred as a gangster in Drake's song Find Your Love for Drake's album Thank Me Later. He has also collaborated with Busta Rhymes, Wyclef, Ludacris, Birdman, Fabulous, Ace Hood, Akon, Snoop Dogg and Jay-Z. Movado was also featured on the G-Unit track Let It Go along with Tony Yeo and Lloyd Banks for the album, T.O.S., Terminate on Sight in 2008. He was the only non-G-Unit feature on the album. Along with Bounty Killer, he has cited Tupac as a childhood idol, comparing the late rapper's life to his own. I'm so special, I'm so special, so special, so special. That's why I'm a with my father for special. Movado formed his own label, Mansion Records, in 2011, which debuted with the single Delilah that was given mainstream US radio rotation.